slipped my running shoes on and I stepped outside. The sky was still dark, but for some reason, the street lights were not on even so. I could see well, and and when I looked up, the fluff, the fluffy gray clouds were illuminated by a bright full moon. I glanced at my watch, and it was just past 6.30 a.m. I ran down the road towards the beach, across point, though it, though the walls of grip, sea grip, stepping off the wooden boards as my feet sank into the soft sand. I was so happy to stretch my legs and feel the cool breeze blown off the Atlantic Ocean. Brushing against my cheeks, I could smell the salt in the air as I maintained a good pace. I passed seagulls beside me yelling, Good morning! A couple of miles into my run down Jupiter Beach, I saw a huge dark object moving ahead. The sand below me squeaked as I came to a abrupt stop. I was frozen and unsure of what to do. Hello, I'm sorry. I startled you. I'm Lily, the li- leaf back. Hi, Lily. I'm still a little hard to see. What? What is a sea back? I kind of, I asked, confused. I'm the world's largest turtle, the leafback turtle, but I don't have a shell. I walked a few feet closer and saw Lily's large, bumpy back. She was amazing. I ha- I had never seen a turtle that that big before. May I touch your back? Yes, of course. Thank you for asking. I reached my hand out and placed it against Lily's massive back. It felt like rubber and was very strong. It was five it had five large ridges and was spoked with white spots. Now that I was up close I could see that she was nearly eight feet long and looked like she weighed almost two thousand pounds. Oh, my belly, I'm actually a lighter color. Leafbacks have been around since the times of dinosaurs and have looked just like this ever since, she said. That's so cool, Lily. So, what are you doing up so early in the morning? I asked as I stood back up. You see... I was born here and I've come back to lay my eggs. This is the best time to avoid danger. Would you like to see them? I would love that. We walked 50 feet to Lily's nest. It was shaped like a vase and two feet deep. Inside were over a hundred little white eggs that she called clutch. Over the course of three to four months, I will come back on land every two weeks dig a hole with my back flippers and lay eggs. I do this every two years. Wow, you must have a lot of kids. How long does it take them to hatch? I asked. It takes them about two months to hatch. The coolest part is that the temperature determines whether they become boys or girls. Warm temperatures make girls and cooler temperature make boys. The girls will come will return here all their lives to make more babies, while the boys will go out into the ocean and never come on to shore again. The sky was bec- was becoming to turn a lighter shade of blue. Lily began to cover the eggs with sand. She said this help protects the eggs from predators so they cannot smell the eggs as easy. A lot of hungry animals come and try to eat them. Well, it was nice. It has been great meeting you, but I'm afraid I must go now. I'm getting quite hungry, and there looks to be a lot of tasty jellyfish in the, to snack on today in the Atlantic Ocean. You know, in a few days, I'm going to travel all the way across. I'm going to Africa to lay more eggs there.
I slipped my running shoes on and I stepped outside. The sky was still dark, but for some reason, the street lights were not on even so. I could see well, and and when I looked up, the fluff, the fluffy gray clouds were illuminated by a bright full moon. I glanced at my watch, and it was just past 6.30 a.m. I ran down the road towards the beach, across Point, though it, though the walls of grape, sea grape stepping off the wooden boards as my feet sank into the soft sand. I was so happy to stretch my legs and feel the cool breeze blown off the Atlantic Ocean. Brushing against my cheeks, I could smell the salt in the air as I maintained a good pace. I passed seagulls beside me yelling, Good morning! A couple of miles into my run down Jupiter Beach, I saw a huge dark object moving ahead. The sand below me squeaked as I came to a abrupt stop. I was frozen and unsure of what to do. Hello, I'm sorry. I startled you. I'm Lily, the li- leaf back. Hi, Lily. I'm still a little hard to see. What? What is a sea back? I kindly, I asked, confused.